I'm doing the 10,000 calorie challenge. It's the night before the challenge and I just wanted to go through a few things. You probably know from my previous video that I've had some eating troubles where I've gone through restrictive eating and I've gone through binge eating. Where now I have the best relationship with food and the gym that I ever have. I also wanted to do this video because I'm going to film the aftermath of me just going back to my normal day to day life. Um, not restricting because you should not restrict after you've overate one day it's not going to ruin your progress that is the main point i want to get across that you can have days where you eat more obviously i'm not saying eat 10,000 calories if i even make it to that i'm just saying you don't need to stress if you overeat one day if this video is triggering in any way because it's about calories please click off the video or if you are watching this because you're admiring someone eating the food you're restricting yourself from Please, please stop restricting. I promise you it is not worth it. And I promise you can get through this. So the challenge, I thought I'd show just how I look before. This is my gym fit for today. I've literally just woke up and it's half 10, so I'm not starting this very well, but I need my sleep. So this is how I'm looking the day of the challenge. Um, you're gonna have to ignore the wet marks on my bum. It's because I've just got out of the shower, like I woke up, went for a shower and then shoved this on to do this like little video thing and obviously I didn't dry myself. So this is how I'm looking pre-challenge. I don't know if I want to share with you my weight or if I'll just say like X being in my weight and then like plus however much I gain tomorrow and then throughout the week because I'm doing the aftermath. Of what it changes like and how I'm going about after the challenge. I've forgotten about all the things you need to do on this challenge, so let me show you the time and the date. Breakfast. First, you might know my love for oats, so I've got four flapjacks. We sell these flapjacks at work, and these are the nicest things ever, except the caramel chocolate ones and the chocolate chip ones are the best. But this is the third best, it's just a plain one. These have 434 calories in each. So after four of these, like that's a good breakfast for the 10,000 calorie challenge. They are so nice. Only the second one in. And I'm actually kind of regretting my choice because I'm already getting quite full. I'm on the fourth one and I just want to say something. I've done the 10,000 calorie challenge before when I was like younger and I did it easily. You probably know if you've seen my previous video that I've been on a journey through restriction and binging through like bad eating habits and restricting myself so feeling the need to binge. And I could have easily binged 10,000 calories in one sitting. And now I've like mended my relationship with food. I'm satisfied after what I eat because I'm not restricting myself. Like yesterday, I ate my breakfast, which is always like just a bowl of porridge. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm satisfied and full from this bowl of porridge. It's the day before the 10,000 calorie challenge. I've had breakfast today, which was a bowl of oats and I'm full and satisfied, so I'm I don't know how this is going to happen. And I used to never be like that. I used to always be hungry, always craving food. And it just shows if you do mend your relationship with food, then you're not always going to be hungry or always craving things. That is four flapjacks down. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really used to tracking at the moment because I'm just eating like around maintenance or over. So making sure I hit that. But then I'm not really actually tracked it anywhere it's just in my brain um because i'm not really that fussed at the moment like if i gain weight so what's the point in like tracking every single thing to the gram because i'm not on like a bodybuilding prep or anything like i'm just enjoying life so i don't need to always be on the app tracking to every single gram so i need to work out how to track these because it's like out of my brain on free foot 1736 I think that's quite good for like 10 minutes into the challenge. I feel like I'm going down the wrong route here because I've just had sweet. I probably should have savoury so that I'm not like feeling sick. But these are like the most calorific so I thought if I get them in early, then.
um, caramelized biscuit brownies from Morrison's is 420 calories. I've had two and I'm not going to eat the other two because one, they didn't even taste as nice as they did and I am like really satisfied right now. The thing is with me and this 10,000 calorie challenge, I'm not going to force it. Like I'm kind of traumatised from when I used to binge till I feel sick and I used to feel in so much pain like in my stomach and my head. So I'm not going to get to that point in the 10,000 calorie challenge. I'm not that bothered if I don't reach the 10,000 calorie mark because I'm still going to show you like the aftermath of overeating for a day. And I know I've done the 10,000 calorie challenge before. So it's already like checked off my list. So today's just like, if I can. It's a little bit like that. I've decided to make a cheese and ham toasty because I've got the gym soon. Yeah, I'm going to the gym with a full stomach. This is not gonna be that good. I need something savory because obviously if I just eat sweet food, then I'm gonna crash way before the challenge. I'm on quite good calories for this time of the day, I think. So I think I've got it. I've not added any of it up. I'm just gonna like add it up after, which is probably not that good. Um, so I'm gonna weigh out how much cheese I'm having. Oh, I may as well do that. 110. Because I'm making a toasty, I've got to butter the inside and outside of the bread, which is obviously I need to weigh the butter. I feel like that's quite a lot. I don't even like cheese on its own. Like I only like cheese if it's mixed in like a pizza or in like tomato pasta. I, I can't eat cheese like this. So I don't even think this is gonna be nice. How is that fitting on there? I know ham isn't calorific, which is something why I'm putting one slice on, but I just need it for some extra taste. There's literally cheese falling out of it, which is obvious because the amount of cheese in this Obviously I have to have ketchup because, like I said, I only like cheese if it's mixed with like tomato or something. It's a bit weird. I'm only going to the gym at half one. So while I get ready for the gym and on the way to the gym, I'm going to snack on these. I will finish this whole bag. I can even open it. There's not like, obviously there is a lot in here, but there's not as much as it looks like in the bag. Chocolate just doesn't taste as nice when you don't really want it. I've messed up so much. I am like about to go to the gym and I don't want to eat anything ever again. So full and I don't want to eat any more because then that little bit of like old me feeling sick will come back. Like I'm literally on like a, a level like a normal person would be like, oh. So yeah. This isn't helping, but I have tried the Pepsi. I've also been drinking water. And I know fizz fills you up, but I just love the taste. I've just checked. I'm actually not even 5,000 calories in. I'm like 4,000 and something. I know I don't eat like the best whole foods in the world on my normal day-to-day -day eating. But this day just shows how eating the bear can really boost your mood and energy. Because I feel like I just want to lie down all day. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm still gonna have my oxy shred. I'm gonna have the one with caffeine in because I need more energy, even though I've got loads of energy in me. I need energy that actually makes me wanna work out, not energy that makes me feel lethargic. I normally have oats every morning for breakfast, but I obviously didn't this morning. So I forgot my creatine, so I'm gonna put my creatine in this 
oxy shred. I realised I was being a bit dramatic before about never eating ever again because I'm actually like my stomach is okay now. I still don't want to eat. Like if someone put a meal in front of me right now, I'd be like, no thanks, I'm not hungry. But I'm not up to the point where I'm like what I was before. Like I feel like I'm dying. It's not very good to do 10,000 calorie challenge and spend like three hours in the gym <laughs> and driving home and driving here is like an hour. Yeah, so I've got no time. Oh yeah. The day when I was in Asda, I wanted everything. Like I was like, oh yeah, I want that, I want that. Now I'm looking at all this and I don't want any of it. I need to find the most power of it. But I also want to try, I'm going to try that. Yeah, get that. I'm like high on sugar. Yeah. Right, what do you think? Right. I want a wrap, but they're not the most powerful right. thing, so... Oh, right. Jesus! Why is it not holding up my phone? No idea how many calories I'm on. And we got, we've got a Mackey's, and I just got the most calorific thing. Yeah. I don't even know what I got in the end. We've both got one of these. Yeah. So just to try. I'm scared that I've heard the bad things. I know, so we're really bad pie. things. And then I got whatever this is. It was just the most oh calorific. <laughs> Double barbecue quarter pounder with cheese, and I got large fries. I also got from Asda a 200 gram Galaxy bar. I've already had a strip. Where's my keys in my new car? Don't get it anyway. <laughs> Put my food. Mouth around. That's it. big. God. I won't say it, there's a stay. No, it's just too much meat. God, I literally look a mess. I'm trying to prime and uh, and this. This looks deep fried. <laughs> what even is it? I'm gone. Prime time. <laughs> How is it? Nice. Nice. It says like a fizzy J2O. Mm -hmm. It's actually really nice. I didn't like the blue raspberry in the bottle. Too still. Tastes like wee. It's exactly like a J2O. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> It just you just give it by little. Right, so Fitness Plus were lovely to me and gave me a little bag for going and doing a video on them. Amy asked me to come and she got yes. this like sorted for me. Showed us round. So thank you so so much. I got the best protein bars in the world. You, you're having one of these. Okay, not now though. Like, I'm gonna throw up if I eat anything. Okay, yeah, it'll probably ruin it because they are the best protein bars in the world. I like the shakes. Check it down. Look at my fake tan. Thank you. There you are. Grenade. What is it? Salted caramel. Jaffa cake. Dark chocolate and raspberry. And caramel chaos. Grenade shake. Barbell. I'm guessing it's mint. Hazelnut and nugget. Oh, hazelnut and nugget. Cookies and cream. Peanut butter. Barbell caramel. Protein flapjack. Chocolate. Chocolate um, and raspberry. Heard of that? I think so. Lemon and poppy seed. Chocolate coconut. I like them ones. That's good. It's really thick. Oh, that's... Okay, I'm just eating this. I've eaten a lot of that. Mate, you inhaled that. Right. We've just been shopping. I got these from m &S. These are beautiful. By the way, I actually finished this. Yep. What did I buy? Oh, yeah. I, I forgot I bought that. You messaged me like, let me get the picture up. What's it say? Girl, I'm never eating another piece of food ever again. <laughs> just... That was my lowest point in life. <laughs> And I'm freaking eating 10,000 calories. Look at that progression in two years. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> He's leaving me. I brought her some stuff. Lovely. Thank you. I've just got out of our friends at work and I'm going to give them a grenade bar each because I love them and they like the grenade Oreo bars. I've just got home. It's like quarter to eight at night. I'm going to have. I literally do not want food. And I'm actually questioning whether to or not. I, I'm not going to give up because I'm not like... I'm not that... Like, I don't even know what I'm up to. I think I'm on like 7,500 maybe. 
um, I don't want to give up. But I also don't want food. So I'm going to try and eat some minstrels. And some Pringles, and I'm going to weigh them before, and then weigh them after and see how much I eat. I'm going to film on my iPad because I've got a few things to do on my phone. I'm literally sweating. I'm that full, like, from food. I really cannot be bothered to finish the challenge. Like, what time is it? Eight o'clock. I've had this much of the Pringles, which is a poor effort, to be honest. My mum knits free Pringles as well. And then, minstrels have actually done more than half the bag. I'm probably only like a 1,500 or a 1,000 calories away. And I've got four hours, but I just really don't want to. Okay, so I've just counted everything. I'm on 8,600 and I just turned around to get a wrapper out of my bag to see how many calories and turning around, not me sick, like I literally, I don't even think, I think if I swallowed anything it would like come up. This is not a nice feeling at all and I am getting a little bit of flashback from when I used to binge and it wasn't very nice except then I felt insanely guilty now i just feel stupid <laughs> for even doing this challenge about this binging even though this isn't a binge because it's a challenge and i would have stopped ages ago if i was just listening to my body i'm not about this life i'm about eating a lot every day and like gaining weight and fueling yourself correctly like my maintenance calories and Bulking calories are quite high and I like eating a lot, but I don't like eating this much. Why is it that every 10 minutes, like, my mood changes? Like, I'm sat here, 10 minutes later, and I'm like, oh, I, I could eat, like, obviously I'm not hungry at all, but I could, like, force food down me if I wanted to complete the challenge. But then I move, like, an inch, and I'm like, nah, I'm stuffed. It's mental how, like, sitting in one place can make you hungrier than if you're, like do some it. I feel like because I'm full, any movements like, oh my god. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It is half nine. I'm going to the shop now to send some parcels because the shop shuts in half an hour. Um, then when I get home, I'll eat because I've actually like got, I've not got an appetite, but like I have space in my stomach, I guess. <laughs> Like, I couldn't stomach anything but this flat jack's okay. Like, that's how much I just love oats. What is wrong with my hair? If I eat this ready meal, which is the MS chicken rabietta, then I've completed the challenge in probably the most tactical way. Oh yeah, I am having a jubbly, <laughs> isolate first because my mouth, I, sh I just need cold water. Like that is all I'm craving. Um, or fruit, I'm craving fruit so bad. But anyway, I feel like I've done this very tactically because chocolate is easy to eat. I know it's like really sweet and it gets really sickly, but it is like so easy to eat. The flapjacks are easy to eat because it's my favourite food and obviously flapjacks are quite higher calories as well. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to probably go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow and then the rest of the week for the aftermath video. Mm -hmm.